Thanks very much. Yesterday, on Varney and Company, right here, the Sierra Club's executive director would not answer this question. Listen. What is the national percentage, nationally, the percentage of electricity supplied in America by wind today? I'll break it out by state for you. I'll give you 10 states. No, Iowa no. gets 25%. No, 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 no. South Dakota gets 25%. No. All right, All right that, that qu he would not answer the question. So let's bring in someone who will. Joining us now is Steve Gorham. He is Climate Science Coalition Executive Director. All right, Steve, the question was, and I'm going to pose it all over again. What is the percentage of electricity in the United States supplied by wind? Go. Great to join you, Stuart. Well, the answer is, uh, in 2011, there were 39,000 wind turbines operating in the United States, and they produced 2.9% of our electricity. Mm. And that is compared to coal, that was 42%. That, that's 2.9% is absolutely minuscule. If, they get, if the environmentalists get their druthers and we subsidize wind power up the wazoo for another 10 years, what proportion of the electric supply might it go up to supplied by wind? Well, it's hard to tell if we build a million wind turbines. Well. I don't know that we have enough subsidies to do that. Um, but you know, there's one big secret that they don't tell you about. And that is that wind turbines don't reduce emissions. And the reason is that wind turbines only put out output about uh, 25 to 30 percent of the time at, ma at their max output. And so behind them you have to have a coal or a gas plant. And since the wind goes up and down very fast, the coal and the gas plant have to go up and down very fast and they run inefficiently. Ah, just, okay. like your, okay. just like your car, when you, go, when you go 10 miles in stop and go traffic or 10 miles on a freeway, you use much more energy in stop and go and you, pollute, uh, you put out much more emissions. Okay. So by building wind systems, we are creating stop and go utilities. Okay, hold on a second. I've got a second question. And the, again, yeah. uh, this was a statement uh, from our uh, Sierra Club guy yesterday. And he said yep. that using green energy is cheaper, the cost of green energy is cheaper than fossil fuel costs. He made that blunt statement. What do you say? Well, that's not correct. And again, prices are difficult to determine. Uh, the best estimates are done by the U.S. Department of Energy. Uh, they do a thing called levelized cost, which takes, takes into account all the capital costs and the variable costs of various plants. But they indicate that you can't really compare solar and wind to traditional forms of electricity because they count on uh, the weather and, and the sun cycle. But their estimates for 2011 placed wind at about 10 cents per kilowatt hour, coal at about 9 cents per kilowatt hour, gas at 7 cents per kilowatt hour. Now let me uh, add something though. The Department of Energy added in artificial carbon costs to gas and coal uh, which aren't really there today unless the Senate passes a, uh, a carbon tax bill. And in addition, you have, to have, you have to build the coal and gas plant along with the wind system. So wind really only replaces the variable cost of these plants. The variable cost for coal is about three cents per kilowatt hour and for gas about five cents per kilowatt hour. Okay. So wind, la on land wind is about three, two to three times as expensive Offshore wind is way up at about 20 cents per kilowatt hour. Oh, wow. Solar is at uh, 20 to 30 cents per kilowatt hour, much more expensive. And by the way, if Mr. Bruin uh, thinks they're competitive, uh, why does he keep pushing for subsidies and mandates okay. uh, so that uh, wind and solar are adopted? Steve Gorham, we hear you, and we thank you for the objective opinion and the, the facts behind this story. Steve, we do appreciate you being with us, sir. Come back again because this is going to be an ongoing conversation. I can see it coming a mile off. Steve, thanks a lot, sir.